today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my van. Finally, I know it's been long awaited. I've been on the road for a month. If you're new here, my name's Anna. I'm 18. I'm currently road tripping for a few months going from Wisconsin to California and I've been on the road for a little over a month. I'm currently in Montana in this nice little parking lot. I'm the only one here and so it's like a perfect spot to film a van tour. I guess we'll start outside and I'll show you the outside of my van. So this is what it looks like. It's a 1997 Chevy Gladiator. When I got it, it was already kind of like converted a tiny bit. You know, there was insulation in it. There was this couch slash bed thing, um, but I ripped all of that out and I converted it in like three or so months with a little bit of help from some people, but mostly by myself. And I think I did pretty good for not having really any experience, but um, there is a lot that could have been improved on, but you know, I think it gives the van character. So in the front, there's not much to see here except for bug guts all over the windshield and some hail damage from like the seventh day of van life. That was a bit scary. I got stuck in a hailstorm in Rapid City, South Dakota, and I thought I was gonna die. But anyways, one thing that I really like and hate about my van is that the entire thing is basically windows, which means that it kind of opens the area up and makes it feel a lot bigger, and you also get a lot more nice views when you're laying in bed, but it also means that it kind of fluctuates between being a sauna and a morgue basically 99% of the time. On the back, I have my bike rack, which is really nice because I like to go for bike rides. Um, it's a little loose, as you can see, which is because I've been on far too many bumpy gravel roads on accident when I don't know where I'm going. But hey, my bike is still here and it's holding strong. And then up top, I have three 100 watt solar panels from Renogy. And then over there, I have a fantastic fan. The model is 1250, I think. So we're gonna start by the front seat. This is my door. I have some crystals here, not because I think they have magical powers, but just because the door is ugly and it needed to be spiced up a little bit. I also have another one down there and just some bracelets. Paper towel that came with the van and some sleeves that I cut off of a shirt that I figure can be used for cleaning something. And then here I do have a booster seat because I'm really short and I can't really see over the steering wheel unless I have one. Even when I'm sitting on it, my line of sight is just like barely over the steering wheel. But since the van was like made for travel and camping and that kind of stuff, it actually has really nice seats, so that's good. On to the other side. I have some more crystals in this one because again, it's kind of ugly, like look at that. That is one of the ugliest colors I've ever seen. So anyways, bug spray, some little felt squares, which you'll see what I use them for later. Those are just extra ones. In this pocket, I have these things that I can't think of what you'd call them, but you put them over the window and it keeps the sun out. And I also put them on at night just for a little bit extra darkness. Then I have this $3 whisk broom that I got from Menards. It's really nice for just like sweeping off my floor and then sweeping everything off of this little area. I also have this roll of ribbon that I used for part of my van, but I, I have no idea why I brought it along, so I'll probably never use it. And I have this tapestry that I was originally going to use in my build, and I ended up doing something different, so I just threw it in there. Then on the passenger seat, I usually just throw a bunch of things, like I have an extra water bottle, camera charger, headphones, phone chargers, some paperwork that I have to send into AAA. Down here, I keep an extra five gallon water jug, which is really nice because I have a, another five gallon one back in my kitchen area, so then those two put together, plus these extra one gallon jugs I have, I can store 12 gallons of water in my van at a time. And then when I go to like Safeway, I'll just take these and refill them for 44 cents a gallon. In this area, I have an aux cable water bottle, this little essential oil thing that I just keep right up there and it blows, whenever the air is on, it blows good smelling things into the van. Keys, car charger that I just put in here. I actually have two of these in the van, one over there, but that one doesn't actually work. So I have this and then I can plug three different things into it at once, which is nice. I have a hotspot which allows me to get 15 gigabytes of Wi-Fi a month. Chapstick, chapstick, 
lavender essential oil, my Invisalign tray because I have Invisalign, another crystal down here and just a little succulent there. And then down here in this compartment, I have a bunch of manuals and stuff for a bunch of different things in the van. And I do have some necklaces hanging from the mirror. Right in the middle of the two seats, I had this little ottoman cube, which is really nice because I can store a bunch of kitchen related things in there. I have a pan, a pot, a mason jar, the lids. This is where I keep all my silverware. And then plates, far too many bowls some Tupperware and then in order to keep all the things from like scratching or getting completely broken this is what I use little the little felt squares that I just cut into circles for and I have them in between every bowl and plate and then I can also pull this out from there and use it to like sit on once I'm in the van maybe doing dishes or something here's a little overview of the main part of the van it's a really simple build there's really not that much to it. But, you know, we'll start at the doors. There's really nothing on that door except for the panels that are on all the doors. If you want to see how I converted this, I do have a video on that so you can check that out. But then on the other door, I do have the beginning of my magnet collection. This is a magnet that somebody gave me and then the other four are from the national parks I've been to so far. Badlands, Wind Cave, Grand Teton, Yellowstone. Once I fill that area up, I'll move on to the little back area right there. Down here, I always keep my shoes on top of this old towel, and then apparently today, some dirty socks. Got my purse there. Over here, I just have my computer, notebook, book I'm reading. Up here in the back of this pocket, I have my planner thing that I haven't used since like the first week of August probably. <laughs> and then this is also where I keep all my receipts so I can see how much I'm spending and I have my calculator in here. On the other side I have my tapestry and the little sheet of black fabric that I put behind it so it just makes it a little bit darker. I put my tapestry up by using these pretty strong magnets and I just magnetize them to all the nails that run along here to keep my ceiling in and so I'll just take one off and go like that and do another one here and yeah sometimes they fall down that's only when I do it really poorly but like most of the time it stays up this is also where I store all my window covers I made almost all of the window covers I have before I left and I just made them out of like a pretty thick cardboard and then some white fabric on the front and black on the back and they just slide in like that. But over the past few weeks I've been working very very hard on these window covers for the front two windows made out of cereal boxes, wheat thin boxes, and some granola boxes on the other one and duct tape. And so on the outside they just have like that cardboard look but they, they do they do the job. I still of course put my tapestry up at night but it just helps to keep people from looking into the van at all and also, again, keep the light out a little bit more. And my Coleman propane camping stove. So I can just pull it out and a lot of times I cook right here with my fan on and my windows open. You just put this into the end right there and then hook on a bottle of propane there and you can cook two things at once. It's pretty crazy. People always ask me what kind of fridge I have. I have a Dometic CFX 35, which means it's 35 liters inside. What's nice is since I have my window covers here, I can just prop it up on there and it stays. It's probably bigger in person than what it looks like on camera. And then there's an area right here that doesn't get as cold, so I put like fruit and whatever there. And there's also a USB port on there, which is pretty cool. So it just plugs in in the back and then I run the cord behind my kitchen and it comes back here. You're never gonna be able to see this because it's too dark. In this tiny little slot back here, I have an outlet strip. There it is. And so the fridge plugs in there and then I also plug in my computer there sometimes and my carbon monoxide detector and that's pretty much all I use this outlet thing for. Right above my fridge, I have this fruit basket thing. Clearly there's not fruit in it right now. That's originally what I intended to use it for, but it just gets way too hot and cold in the van for fruit to be sitting out. So put some cliff bars in there. Here's an inside look at my fantastic fan. It has this little knob that opens it if you turn it the right way. And then you can blow the air out or you can flip this and blow it in. And then right here is a knob that turns 
the speeds. There's one, two, and three. And then once you're done using it, you just close it nicely like that. It's very smooth. I also have six LED lights in my ceiling. Switch over here. It's what they look like. And then I also have these little hooks in every corner of my van, which I'll explain what they're for later. Now on to the kitchen. Up here, I pretty much keep this out all the time. It's just what I use when I do dishes and I let them dry in there. And over here, I have a sink. It's like a 12 inch by 12 inch, so it's a really good size. I enjoy having a larger sink because some people I've seen have small sinks in vans and they do not like it. And then I have a bunch of dishes in there that I don't really want to do. Right here, I have the Valterra Chrome Hand Pump Faucet. The way this works is that I just have a tube going from it to my fresh water jug down below. It doesn't require me to buy any sort of extra pump because the pump is just right in here. So you just move this back and forth a bunch of times until the water starts shooting out and not only does the water come out of here but as you might be able to see it also comes out of here which is really cool and a really nice feature especially when you want to be able to get a washcloth completely soaking wet at the same time as you're doing anything else with your faucet but when I don't want to do that I have to bring my thing up like that and put it in there so it doesn't leak all over the place and then of course clean up all the water that it gets everywhere so moral of the story is don't buy this faucet get one that costs more than thirty dollars for the doors i found these really cool crystal looking knobs from hobby lobby they're kind of expensive but they're really good quality so inside i have a ton of stuff along the back i have this shelf which has kind of like mason jar stuff on this side there was pasta in both of those quinoa rice rice can opener lighter cholula i have a bunch of spices in the back which you can kind of see with those green lids on this side i have condiments that don't need to be refrigerated in the back i have a little toolbox a fire extinguisher which i know isn't in the perfect spot but i'm not going to move it i have a helmet i have bike bags that I of course don't keep on my bike because I don't want them to get stolen or rained on. Cutting board, USB fan that just blows a little air like that. Funnel for when I'm filling up my water. This is where I keep all my washcloths that I'm not using. In this basket I have scissors and then like a bunch of cords and tripods and all that kind of technology related stuff. My old phone because it really didn't work anymore so I had to get a new one and a portable charger. Here I've got this big box of crunchy peanut butter cliff bars and some potatoes on top. On this side I found these magazine racks from Big Lots I think for like three dollars each and they fit perfectly. So in this one I have stuff like shampoo, soap, toothpaste, brush, lotion, razor, deodorant, floss, aloe vera, and this is where I keep all my garbage and recycling. And then down here I have my dishwashing soap. On this side I have my gray water tank and this side I have my fresh water tank, which are both five gallons each. Back here I have my bed. It's a six inch memory foam twin mattress from the brand company Modway, I think. A lot of the bigger items that I show in here, like my fridge, that, my solar panels, all that I have listed on my website if you want to see what I use. Up here I have an extra blanket for when it gets cold at night because it definitely has. When I was in Yellowstone, it got below freezing and I don't have a heater and I'm not going to get a heater. I have my carbon monoxide detector down there which I know people are going to freak out about but I did read the instruction manual and according to that there's not a single place in the van that it should go so that's just gonna have to do. Down here I have two covered things, a little small drawer right here, which, oh, of course I didn't put my clothes away, but this front basket is where I keep my clothes that I wear more frequently. I have a bunch of packing cubes, which I found to be very, very helpful to keep things organized. So I have underwear, sports bras, and socks in this one, and then in this one, t-shirts, shorts in this one, and in this last one I have, let me open it up, two microfiber towels which I use when I go to Planet Fitness to take a shower or when I wash my hair or body in the van. They're really good because they dry really fast and they're really compact. Gym locker, gym lock, whatever. Laundry detergent and just some washcloths. And then over to the right of it I have another one of these same drawer things. 
In this big one, I keep more winter, not winter clothes, but like cold weather clothes. Leggings, long sleeve shirts, um, fuzzy socks. In the small one, I have all my Invisalign trays. And in this, I have all my period related things, such as my four menstrual cups and all my cloth pads. If you've seen my menstrual cup video, still haven't figured it out. Then over on the next side, where I keep all my food that isn't refrigerated. And I'm not gonna go through that because like I could make a whole video on that. And I have some cereal and almond milk that I store in between here behind this little leg post. Over here, I keep all of my dirty laundry in this bag. And I forgot to mention that for my carbon monoxide detector, I just have the cord going up along here and then it runs under there. So my bed doesn't go back all the way. There's probably like two feet of room back here. Um, so I have a bunch of extra storage space on this side. Since I have my bike rack on the back though, it's kind of a pain to like take it down and open up the back doors. I've only honestly done it once. So hopefully this works out. Starting on this side, this thing right here came with the van. Like I said, it was kind of a conversion van when I bought it. This basically allows me to plug in if I were to go to a campsite and they have a place to plug in, I can run my electrical stuff off there, which is really cool except for it doesn't actually work. Down here, I just have another book that I'm reading. I have some twine stuff here and a bunch of clothes pins and then some shorter pieces of twine here. Like I said, I'd tell you what these hooks were for that I have in all the corners. Just put the twine on there and then connect the other side to another one and I have a clothesline. So when I forget to put my faucet in the sink overnight and it gets an entire towel soaking wet, just throw it right on there. I also keep my backpack back here inside of it. I think I have another tapestry that I use to like sit on sometimes and then a hammock and sunscreen and I have pepper spray down here and some camera stuff, a little drawstring bag. Right here I just have this tucked in between these two things. It has something to do with changing a tire I'm assuming. And so does this, I think this is like a car jack. So if I ever needed to change tire, even though I don't know how to use the tools or what they even are, at least I have them. And then I keep my backpack from sliding all over the place by just strapping it to there. And surprisingly, none of this stuff moves. I also have that strapped up. Over here is my favorite part of the van, the solar stuff. I purchased my solar panels in a kit from the brand Renergy, and they came with this Wander PWM solar charge controller. I have a 125 amp hour AGM deep cycle battery and a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter also from Renogy. Into it I just have the extension cable that runs to that power strip. Down here I have this rug that I used to have in the kitchen. Um, but it was getting like fuzzy stuff everywhere that I collected from some city somewhere and it ruined all of my socks. And I have a yoga mat and I also keep my tripod on top of here when I'm not using it. Here I have the bag that came with my tripod that I just put there to keep all of the books I have along here from falling out when I'm driving. Under this side I have three of these, I think they were three bucks from Target storage containers and this is the one that I use the most. These two are kind of hard to get out so I put stuff in them that I don't really use that much. And here I have a bunch of kitchen related stuff. So my knives just sit on top, my strainer, propane, a mason jar, my Nutribullet which I actually haven't used yet, some little tiny containers, measuring cups, and a mason jar. In the middle one and the other one I have these like little organizer trays that fit perfectly right on top of them and so in it I have some tape, pencil sharpener, some command strips over here, a bunch of writing utensils, duct tape, headphone case, coloring pencils, and a phone tripod. This is a female urinal which I haven't had to use and really hope I don't have to use, it's just for emergencies. Since I don't have a toilet in my van and have to use public restrooms, I have some essential oils in here, a first aid kit, a solar shower, which is like this five gallon thing that you fill up with water, let it sit out in the sun. There's a thermometer on there right there. And then you can just use this little spout to give yourself a shower. Haven't used it, but who knows? Have a leg roller here, some 
drawings that I was gonna put up, but I decided against putting them up because they just didn't really match anything in the van. Some different coloring books. In this one, like I said, I have another one of these. Some bungee cords in here, carabiners, a whistle, random stuff. This little diffuser that my mom got for me. Extra earplugs, cards. This thing that I used to use occasionally because as you could probably tell, I'm currently missing a tooth, but it's coming in now. A phone armband for when I go for runs. Some extra toothpaste and toothbrushes. Have my computer case. More clothing, this is like swimsuits and a uh, coat and cycling related things, my cycling shoes and some jumper cables. Right along the side here I have this headstand mat which makes doing headstands a lot more comfortable. So that's my van, like I said, pretty simple but it works for me. And I'm actually surprised because as you could probably see, like. I don't have things jam-packed in here. I have space for more things, which is really kind of hard when you live in such a small area, but pretty proud of myself for not bringing far too many things that I don't have room for. But at the same time, there are a ton of things in here that I haven't used yet and probably will only use like once or twice. If you have any questions related to van life, I've probably already answered them, so you can check out my website, you can check out my other videos, you can check out my Q&A. It'll just save me a lot of time when I'm going through comments, trying to reply to people, if you check to see if I've answered your question before you ask it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, you know, no I won't. You'll see me in the next video.